Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, this week we're gonna finish up some of the wiring for the Tesla and we'll kind of probably move on to some batteries. Um, hopefully the steel comes this week. So let's get into it. Okay, so I finally got the, uh, test, this is the Tesla motor plug. It's all uh, loomed up and uh, looks nice. And so out from it, we've got uh, kind of two outputs. Um, one is here for the uh, encoder and the other one is going to the other one's going to the gas pedal and we got a few a few other wires that go to the controller all right here i am in the car um just still figuring out the wiring so i've got uh the plugs in the back are plugged into the motor and i've got the uh, wire bundles coming up here so now i've just got to put in the last uh, two wires in there, um, and then I've got the other, got the other bundle essentially coming out of there. That's the uh, going to the pedal and then to the brakes. So I've got a Tesla brake switch on order, um, and that'll go to this brake switch. This goes to the accelerated pedal, and then these other ones go essentially to the fuse relay box to either go to ground or to um, essentially to other functions like brake lights, uh, reverse lights, um, things like that. So that's kind of where we're to. We're essentially soldering in the car following the diagram. All right, so it's all wired. Um, I'll clean up kind of the junction, um, but basically this guy right here it goes into the back of this one. So this is the control unit. I think the uh, the company intended this one to also be kind of like your dash display. Um, so I'll kind of show, uh, get on the web and show you kind of what uh, the display looks like. Um, it's not exactly, um, I'll call it, uh, not exactly aesthetically pleasing the display. So. I will probably use it at first, but uh, I've been looking into some other displays, kind of like, um, well actually, let me just show you. Okay, so this is what the uh, display looks like. Um, so again, it's got kind of the gear, it, it'll display like the gear you're in, um, it'll display uh, your speed, RPM, total power, a whole bunch of things about the inverter, um, region, anyways, a whole bunch of stuff. But again, um, there's not really another, this is it. So um, yeah, so let me show you, I think eventually what I want to go with. So this is the uh, MoTeC. Um, again, there's a lot of these aftermarket uh, digital dashes. Um, most of them though need like the OBD2 port to kind of display all this information. So there's uh, MoTeC and um, Holly, I think, also has a standalone unit, and uh, they've got various uh, gauges and uh, things you can add to it. So I would want uh, a GPS um, speedometer, and anyways, a couple other things that I can run to this. But again, I think the digital dash here is a lot more customizable, and um, anyways, it looks a lot better. It should match kind of the look I'm going for. And this is the Holly. So the, the Motec's a little more pricey. The Holly, I think, is probably where I'll land. Um, but again, to begin with, I'll be with this guy. And it'll, it'll at least get me on the road and uh, get me what I need. And then, um, then we'll kind of go for the upgrades. All right, so some things I learned. Um, so these four wires here are the uh, for the input select, so for gears, reverse, drive, neutral. Um, and so I've got those there. However, when I go to uh, this guy, essentially those four holes are blank. So I reached out and contacted the uh, EV controls and apparently that was a an upgrade option. So I'm gonna see if they can do an upgrade because I'd really prefer to do some sort of a gear select. Um, I'll show you kind of what my thought is. So something like this where essentially you would just 
push it and you'd be in drive, you push it and you'd be in neutral, push it in park, push it in reverse. Um, that's kind of my thought because, again, this, this is a, another car, but I don't necessarily want to reach up and touch a screen, especially where they're thinking it's going to be like the instrument cluster. Um, it's not exactly a pretty unit either. So um, my hope is I can do something like this, but we will see. All right, so I got it all cleaned up here. Um, essentially, this one's coming from the back. And then I've got uh, some for the brakes and gas. And then some, this is for the uh, drive select, if I ever have it. And then these ones are going to the fuse relay box to power, like reverse lights, brake lights, things like that. Um, the other thing I learned is the controller actually controls or can control uh, essentially brake lights, reverse lights. So essentially I don't need relays for those. Um, it also controls the, uh, the pump, the coolant pump, and also the coolant fan. So I didn't know about the fan. I knew about the pump, but the, uh, anyways, the instructions just said coolant pump. And then the other one was coolant so I wasn't sure exactly what that meant but I got clarification so looks like I might be opening up a few uh, fuse relay spots or maybe I'll just keep them and wire everything there but anyways progressing all right so I've been doing some uh, cable cleanup so again this this will be the uh, for the controller and again I think initially I'll just have it be kind of like the uh, instrument cluster, the uh, essentially the display. Um, from there I've got, uh, so this this bundle runs back to the back to the uh, inverter and um, so this one here is for the input select like drive, park, things like that. Um, this one goes to like brake lights, reverse lights and then this one goes to like gas pedal and brake pedal. So these, so this one goes to all my door stuff, like door locks, windows, speakers in the doors. Um, so I got this one. This one's actually just extra, I'm thinking again for future dash display or radio or things like that. Um, this was my existing one for brakes, so I'll have to tie that together. This is for all my like turn signals. These are the LEDs. So turn signals, brights, things like that. And is that it? I think that's it. Is this one? Yeah. Yep. So again, I'll just, uh, I'm probably not gonna zip tie things just yet, just cause again, I don't know quite how things, how the dash lays down and stuff like that, but uh, Again, all this will route over to kind of where I'm going to put the fuse relay box. And so again, all, that's right there's all the uh, things coming out of the front, like the fans and headlights, turn lights, things like that. So all that's coming over there. Uh, I've got the panel kind of all ready. Um, but I've got, like I said, with, with the uh, Tesla controller, I've got a few more things to wire, brake lights, reverse lights, things like that. So I'll get those wired and then maybe I'll put the panel in. All right, so I'm kind of uh, redoing all my bundles, but got it back to here. If you can remember, kind of had to figure all this out with the, uh, how to get this thermocouple working and turn on the fans. Uh, again, with the Tesla controller, I don't need this. So just trying to decide if I should leave it in there kind of as a backup or just take it out. But I, I still need to kind of then clean this up, get the few new wires going to the connectors, and then I think we'll be uh, good. I'll go ahead and put this in.
I am getting closer. Ugh, just every time I have to open this up, it's just, seems like it's not fun, but it's just trying to make sure everything's right. So I, I'm probably gonna have to get uh, into my third fuse relay box. Um, this is again, just for future planning, but um, I am planning to use the electronic parking brake. So I'm gonna need a relay for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in, uh, get some power and ground to that relay, and then again, put the wires up through there. All right, so I was kind of reading over, uh, anyways, my pinouts and schematics. I do have a couple extra 12 volts and grounds, so I don't think I actually need the fuse relay box. Um, I looked more into the uh, the switch that's offered on eBay for the Tesla parking brake, and it looks like it's all kind of internal to that switch. So we just need to supply 12 volts and ground. So I'll continue to get this thing wired up and hopefully get it complete. Okay, so I think I've at least got the bottom half here um, wired. I got these guys kind of bolted back down. This is all cleaned up. So everything's good, I think, up to the connectors. So now I'm just gonna focus on uh, making sure I've got all the wires um, connected to the right spots. And if I need to fish any more wires through, um, up, up there I'll do that. Um, but yeah, I think we're, we're looking pretty good. Um, the other thing is when I, when I do the batteries, um, I'm going to have to essentially create some more bundles, you know, some going to the front batteries, um, some to the back, um, cause I've got all these cables and things for the BMS and yeah, so I'll figure that out as well. Slowly coming together. Um, again, the bottom side's kind of done. Now I've got kind of the uh, wiring harness for the car better. I need to kind of go through, I've, I've kind of got zip ties and stuff and it's, it's tidy throughout the rest of the car, but I need to essentially go back and, and then take those off, run the wires so they're all kind of uh, these loops and some of the wires aren't even in there. So have to open it back up, close it back up, and make it look good. All right, so I got all the wires rerouted again. I got a few few things zip tied. But um, yeah, so then those, those ones go down there. Uh, all I need to do now is put in the fuse relay box, um, kind of mount it, and plug everything in. So just haven't decided if I want to do that yet. It seems like every time I put it in, I need to take it out. So we'll see. But... Uh, yeah, lots of good progress. Okay, everybody, time to get rid of the shaggy look. Much better. I feel like I just lost like 20 years. So uh, anyways, I think that'll do it for this week. Um, we got a lot uh, accomplished. Mostly it was just kind of making sure all the wires were in the right places, getting things tied, tied out of the way, 
running them all over the place and making them look nice. So next week we'll get into, uh, again, some of the steel came. We're still short on some items, but we'll start, uh, we'll start marking off the car, find out what we need to, uh, you know, lengths and measurements, and start cutting the steel um, in preparation for welding. So um, I'm gonna weld everything and get the battery boxes all before I start uh, doing the battery wiring. But uh, yeah, so we're making good progress and hopefully you like this. See you next time.